so you finished up. Oh, oh no. what a day. It's so warm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're watching. It's too hot. Yeah, the humidity went uh, through yeah. the roof. I was wealthy. Yeah, hot day for that. Yeah. It's new mod time. Yay. It's new mod time. Big time. Everybody's been waiting for this one. Of course, they're waiting for everyone. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a mod that I kind of been putting off. Because mm -hmm. it's very labor-intensive to do it. It is. It takes... I'm going to say a minimum of three and a half hours just to do... Well, what we're talking about is the ditch lights. Yes, that's right. <laughs> I know. But anyway, here they are on Little Killer, the BX25D. That's right. These were the pretty well, these are prototypes. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Okay. Now, all prototypes, there's room for improvement. Yeah. So, took the opportunity this last week to actually make make the light that I should have made to begin with, but this was a really good runner-up. Oh yeah, big time. You know, the only, this, this had two things that I didn't like about it. Uh, I didn't like the fact that I used too heavy a steel in it. I used a 1-8 plate, oh, a yeah. lot of weight. Yeah. And the other thing that I didn't like is by the time I got the LED lights in, there was yeah. very little room, very little room inside. So, uh, not that it mattered, it, they worked and they, they did fit. Well, I said, you know, if I was doing this, you know, later on again, I would make the light pot a little bit deeper and yeah. it would give the light a lot more cooling. And uh, so that's what we did. The only thing is, this time, Kathy was, you were way more involved in it than than really I was. You came up with some new graphics and mm -hmm. and uh, we kind of stuck with the same bumper but with a you know with a twist. Uh, you know right. it was it's it's much more refined now than right. that one. That's right. We remodded the mod. We remodded the mod. And of course the biggest challenge that I had this time is when I designed it for that, it was only that. That's right. But now we have that and that. That's right. So we have the BX series there and the BX series here. Right. And, and I only wanted to make one version. <laughs> That's right. So it took a little bit of extra time, a little bit of trial and error. People don't realize how much time goes into stuff. And anyway... It's a lot of testing. Yep. We uh, found a design or we just, you know, we came up with a design that will fit both models. So it's nice it's kind of universal and it really do work well this time also i have to say that we're going to go and use one company you might want to come in at the wind mm -hmm. we're using one company and the company is uh well there's their decal nylate yes that's right we've done a lot of work for uh, nylate and they're a great company to work for and i like their product we've had no trouble with their product and uh and I'm happy with it. That's right. So, uh, yeah. So that, that's basically what we did. Matter of fact, there's some of our original designs. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So that's how it happens, you know. That's the way it starts out. That's the way it starts out. It starts well, out in your head. It starts out in the head. From the head, it goes to the paper. From from the paper, it goes from from, from the it goes from the head to the paper. From the paper to the uh, tracker C and C. The tracker C and C gets the, gets to test the the cuts. Most of the time you need a few little tweaks mm -hmm. and then we uh, go back and once we get the tweaks and everything straightened away and everything fits good and whatnot, then it goes into production. So anyway, we're almost to the point where we're into production. We can go in production now. That's right. And uh, so, you want to see it? Yeah, let me come around this side over here. Now these are much more refined. These are you know, consumer grade. <laughs> <laughs> Sexy they are. That's what you they like are. them, eh? I like them. So there they are. There they are. Now, you can't tell me that's not sexy. That's nice. 
That is Whoa. nice. Yep. Beautiful. So that is your ditch lights that people have been asking for for the last five years. Mm -hmm. Now, the light itself, it's got six LED lights in it, and it's a uh, floodlight. It's not a spotlight. And what I like about the floodlight, it's not concentrated on one area. So when you're when you're plowing or you're going along the road tonight, it's got a wide berth. Yeah. You know, so you can you know what it does, the ditch lights in the past we were always limited to what's in front of us in lighting and what's behind us in lighting if you had the lighting. This pretty well shows you everything that's on the side of you. Yeah. On each way, you know, so it's kinda nice. So like if you were looking for your mother in law that happened to roll down in the ditch or something, you'd have a better chance of finding her. You know, just as an example. You might kill the sails on the way. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is, is what we've had to do, we've decided to offer the bumper as an uh, accessory or as an option. And there's the bumper. That's right. Here's the bumper. So the bumper is not really, none of this is intended for towing. So guys, don't go telling me I should have put a receiver on it or I should have put a hook on it. It's not meant for that. As a matter of fact, folks, don't even tell me what I should have done with it because if you tell me what I should have done with it, I'm only going to delete your, co your post. <laughs> Every time we launch a mod, we have these know-it-alls tell us this is how you should have done it. Should have, could have, would have. Yeah, so we're not, basically we're not going to do that anymore. We came to two choices. We came to choice number one, close the comment section. Our choice number two was delete the remarks telling me how to do my work. Yeah, number two is better. Number two is better because a lot of people want to make a comment. That's right. And, and you know, and, and, and legitimate comments. The, the pose, yeah. yeah, so, yeah, so this is it. So how these work, I'm going to have to excuse my dirty hands because I did get caught in the middle of working. <laughs> uh, you have accessibility to the light with these three screws. Yeah, that's right. So this, that will always be on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So you'll know what side it's for based on yeah. there. Now just come over and we'll show you what it looks like on the tractor. So those bolts there, that, that's for the hinge for there. That's how this is going to fit. And there you go, right? Yes. Looks good, huh? Yes. Yeah. Now, when you get these, the BX23S has two brand new holes in their chassis. Oh. And that's there. So what I did is I utilized those two holes by punching square holes so you can put your carriage bolt out through from the bottom, out through, put them in there, put them on, and tighten them in and you're, you're pretty well good to go. But, these were really intended to be, and I don't want to scratch them up, somebody's going to end up with them. You can also drill two holes here and put carriage bolts in here, so then they're very, very strong then, right? So, and you can see Kathy's new design of graphics and stuff. And, uh, yeah, and the reason why there's there's two holes here is because what we've decided to do is with this kit it's going to come with a, uh, a harness a wiring harness and this is what your harness is going to look like okay it's a fused harness and a relayed harness it comes with everything that you need to connect it so what you would do you can pick your choice the hole does two things it, it lets the, the uh, light breathe. It also lets the casing inside breathe. And uh, it also lets you get access to the wiring. So you, once you hook up your wiring, because the two pigtails are here inside that, once you hook up your wiring, then you just got to run it out to your uh, fuse panel. It has its own switch. It's a lighted switch. I really don't want to open it up because it belongs to somebody. But anyway, it's... Uh, it's got a lighted switch in there somewhere. Oh, hang on, that's just oh, a ziplock. Ziplock, yeah. Give her. 
I'm just so used to tearing into everything. It's a waterproof switch. Oh wow, that's nice. Yeah. Huh. And uh, it's a lighted switch. Nice. Okay. So basically, it should be only two wires, a ground and a power wire. Mm -hmm. It's fused there. It also has the relay, which oh. is here. So okay. Is there everything go. is there. It comes with spare fuses, some electrical connections. So basically, you can hook this direct up to your battery if you want. And because these lights, it's unbelievable how efficient that these lights are. I had a nine volt transistor battery here this morning. You did. And I so mean, are you testing with it? It was crazy how they, uh, how powerful how they were. it was. They anyway, were really you'll bright. To, you'll have to take my word for it. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so the relay really and the harness is kind of overkill. Oh, yeah. But it's convenient. Okay. Because now, the, now you as the customer don't have to worry about wiring. It's already hooked up. You take this, you got the pigtails there for your lights. They plug into here. You might have to put your connectors on here on the end. And you got uh, black and red. Red's positive, black is negative on each light. And then you run it under your tractor. And then you can come up here and you can take this off here. And you can put your switch. Well, I don't know where you'd put the switch on this. Maybe here. I haven't looked. You know, maybe here. Yeah, depending on they already got done. Here's where I put them on, on our VX25V. Oh, yeah. Right? Your switch is here, right? Yeah. So, you know, you can use yeah. your own discretion. It's going to be a bit of fun. When you, uh, when you receive... I'm all over the place, eh? <laughs> when you receive your ditch lights, they're going to come with the lights not mounted inside. And there's a reason why we do that, or we, there's a reason why we plan on doing that. It's because everything so packaged well it is in here you know but really it's a nice project for someone to work on you well know, you maybe know maybe you'd like to take it out and do it yourself see yeah. it's all there maybe kathy can squeeze the harness in there i don't know but it, she'll do something with it and that's how they're gonna they're gonna come around right yeah uh, they come with stainless steel screws that's lock awesome. washers and washers yeah. and a, a allen key awesome. And uh, there's one for each side. And uh, these are waterproof to a certain depth. Uh, depth, depth. <laughs> right? So you can't go wrong. There's the harness. There's the schematic one. Yeah. Red is positive. Mm -hmm. Now I just pause it. I gotta go look for that battery. Who's your pause it? I found. <laughs> just to show you. Now don't be pointing it right at us. Why not? And blinding us. Nine volt battery, folks. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so. And of course, each light will be tested before you're sent out. But Nylite is a, is a good company to deal with, so. And, and I have never had anything from them defective. Nope. Now, the lights that I used on Killer, yeah, the BX25D, they're made by Rigid. And they're about, I'm going to say, 10 to 15 times more expensive than them. And I'm going to be honest with you. If I had to know about these people beforehand, I wouldn't have paid 10 or 15 times more than that. But that's only my opinion. Don't go jumping down my throat. Get out of my throat. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Nobody's jumping. So what we should do is we should temporarily put them on that tractor just to let people have a little look without the bumper. Okay, and yeah. then maybe put the bumper on and let them see it with the bumper. Back and have a look. Yeah, sure. I can't even imagine that tractor without it. I know, me neither. You love it, don't you? I do. I'm telling you. I cannot say it. It's not sexy. Show them. <laughs> it's, it's friggin' gorgeous. It is. Look. Oh, God, I love it. It's amazing. Just go over and walk around with it. Wow. I don't have the plates in the bottom. I just left them off. Yeah. Wow. I love it. I mean, you know, and I've seen them before because we have them ourselves. Yeah. 
I know, but they're different. They're different. Now you just pan from them over to the ones on the on the 25D. Yeah. And you'll see the difference, right? Right. So pan out. Stay right where you're too. Okay. And pan over to the 25D. Yeah. You know, these are a little bit. They're a little bit beefier, and they're, they're a earthy. little bit. Uh, they're more refined. Mm -hmm. This this is uh, Ditch Lights 2.0. That's right. Well, those over here are a little killer are you, and these are me. Yeah, if you were a Ditch Light, that's what, that's what you'd like. be. <laughs> <laughs> these are refined. These See, are, yeah. Are. Oh, yeah. Well, anyway, boys, we'll let her have that, I when suppose. You, when you said that... She's, at, she's holding the camera right. on for that, boys. I'll tell you what I really thought. <laughs> but anyway, let's, let's turn the steering, and then come over here and show them how close the steering comes. When you, when you get your ditch lights, there's going to be the two holes in there. The reason why I made the pot a bit bigger too is because once you have your light in and you own them, mm -hmm. you're going to take your light out to put the bolts in. Yeah. These are the things that you discover when you invent things. Afterwards, yeah. So I said, if I ever had to do this again, I would change that. So now it's changed to the point where you can put your lights in and then you can put your your uh, carriage bolts in there as well. Now with the 20 with the 23S the holes are already there but you will have to drill these two 3/8 bolts here and two on the other side. Yeah. Whereas with the 25D you got four holes to drill on both sides. You have two here and those two inside. Wow. But that's okay. it. But that's it, you know? But I mean my gosh, look can't, I can't even imagine that tractor without it. Without it. So no. what we'll do now is we'll uh, put the bumper on, just to let them show, show them what the bumper looks like. Yeah. So we'll come right back. Oh my. God. Your hair is all right. You know, I'm always going to say something. It turns it on. <laughs> yeah. Well, look at me, Shramstreel. Yeah. It comes out of me. I'm buried in every kind of bit of dirt. Look at my arms. Jumpins. Jumpins. I'm like a swine. <laughs> Gorgeous. You like? I like. Okay. Well. Oof. Oof. Yeah. So that's it with the bumper. Okay. Now, it's there for aesthetics. That's right. It's not there to be tall. Standing out. No. no. You know, it's it's there for aesthetics. But it do look good. Let me put down the FEL. You want to take that so we don't have to pause it on? Alrighty. Okay. Let's Time see. to get the We better close this. One. Now that's only just laid there, folks. So. That's right. Enough. So yeah, if it doesn't. If it falls down, hits the ground, it's got nothing to do with workmanship, eh? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Beautiful. Just beautiful. 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 There you go. What think is that? I think it's beautiful. Yeah. So yeah, it's uh, sexy. I think it's sexy. That's the right word for it. Too, it is sexy. I mean, you right? can't you can't say anything else. I try sexy. something here. Anything tightened down, so it's not well, going to be tightened. I just up. wanted to see that's up as high as it can go. Look, the cylinders are in, mm -hmm. and it's, it's not even coming near the bumper to okay. hit the bumper. Perfect. So it was a good test. Awesome. They can only go in. They can. This boom can only drop so far. Yeah. Because that cylinder is fully contracted. A big word, eh? <laughs> I said if I could only get that word out now before she finishes taping. <laughs> you did good. Yeah. So yeah, it's uh let me put it back up again. And put our, we got our lock put on. Mm-hmm. So it can't drop. Well, technically it can if the hose broke. 
but unless a woodpecker comes up and spends the next 40 days and 40 nights pecking at that, I doubt that's going to drop. So, for the safety police is out there, go home. Who's that? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's still loose, eh? Because well, that's right, because we're not tightening. No. Let me tighten her up. Let me tighten her up a little bit. Just tighten her up a little bit. Yeah, because it's all droopy. Yeah, it's not good. No. Droopy is terrible. And these, it, the, the brackets in there, are elongated. They got slots punched in them, mm -hmm. so you can, you can bring yeah, this out yeah. if you want, right? Because look, yeah. see, yeah. you can bring it out and adjust it if you want. Oh, totally. Put it in tighter and whatever, right? That's right. How about her? Yeah. So. What thinkest thou, Shakespeare? Again? Bill. <laughs> Bill. Yeah. That's Bill Shakespeare. What thinkest thou? I think you did a fabulous yeah. job. So, the bumper is optional. That's right. And that way, if somebody just wants to ditch lights, yeah. it keeps the cost down for them. True. So, the choice anyway, is yours, folks. You were also having a hissy fit saying you're not going at it too much. It is very labor intensive. It's a lot of work. They are a lot of work. The only thing is, is that I got a tendency to lose my patience on really, really hot days. Yes. Especially when you, when you look at my legs, they're burned up. I mean, I'm not allowed to go fishing anymore. She won't let me go fishing because if I ever drowned and fell in the water and the authorities found me, they'd say, we don't know what killed him, but he died a terrible death. He was tortured. <laughs> look at all the burn marks on his legs. <laughs> yeah, really. Right? So, you know. There'd be all kinds of investigations, and who would be the first one that they suspect? Yeah, exactly. Really? Yeah. You know, they and all, I mean, our always... viewers, our viewers would say, well, I don't know how many times she tried to kill him. <laughs> we were witness to that. Well, the spouse is the first to, first to uh, they go after. Yeah, really. So, yeah. and there's a reason for that. <laughs> okay, yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't know. So that's it. That's the uh, that's the ditch lights. Finally, after five years, I know. And and I really didn't think they were ever going to see the light of day. No. I never thought that I would ever have to build another set. No. I just didn't. I just automatically assumed. Well, for one thing, I didn't think anybody would even want any of these mods. Well, they sure do. Man, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, very. You know, and we appreciate well, the fact do. that people buy them. Exactly. Because it makes it makes our work feel like it's worthwhile. Exactly. It's uh, and thanks to Newfoundland Kubota Limited for letting us borrow this tractor because That's right. without the BX twenty three S, we wouldn't have been able to design a light that would work on both models of tractors. That's right. So now, exactly. Are you saying it'll fit all BXs? Yeah, it should fit all BX. Should be the same frame on the front. Okay. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure somebody will. Mm. They correct me when I'm right. I know they're going to correct me when I'm wrong. <laughs> you never hear about it when you're right. What are you talking about? What are you smoking? Uh, it is what it is. Anyway, I'm going to take all that off. So anybody gets there, gets the first set, if he knows a little scratch on it. it Boys, was, I got to go. He said he's taking it all off. It was the one. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> you don't want to have that happen. No. Uh, I got to go. Say goodbye. I couldn't. I couldn't pay for all those medical bills. <laughs> so, folks, thanks for watching, and uh, thank you, Nylite, for the uh, good quality lights and helping us out here with this order because we kind of had to, to hustle to get the order in, mm -hmm. and they they came through for us. So, we'll see you next video, folks, and the next mod. Do you know what the next mod is? <laughs> Upper management don't know everything. <laughs> Gosh, I've got to say I don't. No, that's right. And guess what? You're not going to know till it's done. You're going to be like the rest no, of No, because you think I, I'm going around, you know, ratting it out. Yes, you're tipping people off. I'm tipping people yeah. off. Is I that... have been known to send out a scatter spoiler alert. I know. <laughs> I know. It's I called harassment. But seriously, I, I don't know. Yep. So, sorry guys. Anyway, folks, we'll see you in the next video. We've got to fight this out now. Of course, now, as soon as that's turned off, she's going to be saying, come on, tell me, come on, tell me, come on. Come on, you I'm, know. I'm you, your wife, come on. You know you want to. Yeah, yeah, this is right. Yeah. And I'm going to go, sob. <laughs> see ya, folks. God bless. Come on, you know you got to tell me. What is the next model? Uh, be honest with you, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>